so in the matlab environment we require the task to be performed so that task or the objective here we say here we have taken for example matlab program to perform first of all the 16 point dft of the discrete time sequence that can be given as x of n is equal to we have the elements to be 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 the three elements here we have and we have to also sketch the corresponding magnitude and phase spectrum next to that we also take the task to make the computation of 8 point dft for the given discrete time sequence given as x of n is equal to here we have total eight elements the first four elements are two and the last four elements are one here here also we have to sketch the magnitude and phase spectra so for accomplishment of these two tasks very first of all we switch to the matlab environment so now we want the n point dft to be the 16 point hence capital n should hold the value of 16 here next to that for the frequency domain for the transform domain we want the imaginary variable i or j we can take here so here we start with a j variable and account it to the value of under root of minus 1 so for taking the under root that is the square root we have this matlab syntax sqrt and here we provide it as input minus 1 to this command here now we have to initialize the input sequence the input sequence here we can get back to the program statement so that is 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 for the first task here so initially i hold the variable x of n by all the zero values provided we have the inputs 1 comma n so it will be initially the array of the n elements here holding all the values to be zero next to that we have to specify the values here so here we go for xn of 1 here so the first element we keep it to be 1 by 3 in the similar fashion we go for xn of 2 so that is also made 1 by 3 here and xn of 3 here so it is also kept to be 1 by 3 as per the given program statement here now by the next line we go for the variable capital xk here so capital xk we keep to be the zeros provided we have the input 1 comma capital n here so whatever the transformation here we are going to make so into the one domain we use the small casing letters and into the transform domain we are going to make the use of capital casing of the letters here so it is of course giving us the output here so that we have declared here capital x k here and initially we wanted it to hold zero values here now we have to make the computations by using the dft here so for the 16 point dft here we make the use of for loop here so i write for the intermediate variable k we run from initially zero with the interval of 1 up to capital n minus 1 now inside this we nest another for loop so this another for loop we carry on for the intermediate variable small n and that can run from again starting at 0 then with the interval of 1 up to capital n minus 1 here and now as per the dft formulation we have the left hand side i write capital xk as a function of here we write capital x plus 1 k plus 1 here and it is computed as capital xk in the bracket k plus 1 so this is to be added with xn in the bracket we write n plus 1 this is in multiplication to the exponential here so i mention exp within the bracket i write minus j 
in multiplication to 2 in multiplication to pi here in multiplication to k into n divided by capital n here so the logic mathematical logic is complete here we end it with the semicolon here and the two nested for loops have been have to be ended here so i mentioned here end end command here now after this we have to make the use of display command so here for the display we go for the string we display here the dft sequence can be printed out here and here we provide directly x key here and we don't suppress its output by providing semicolon here by the next line we are again going to make the display of the string here that we require for the magnitude case here so i write here the magnitude sequence each so the magnitude sequence can be printed oh, with the variable mag capital x k here which can be the absolute value of x k here so absolute value will provide us all the real components here so i write for the absolute abs and provide it as the input for x k here we also don't suppress it next to that we are again going to make a display and this display is for the phase sequence phase spectrum we need to plot the values we are going to show on to the command prompt here so the phase sequence is so to the next line here we write for phase we write pha x k here and it is computed by not having the absolute value but this time the angle value here so we write here angle and provide the input variable xk here this time also we won't be suppressing it output here now we want the frequency variable the frequency variable can be denoted or declared with wk here and the wk we assign to start at 0 with the interval of 1 up to capital N minus 1 as before so here we can write this is nothing but the discrete frequency vector now with the help of this discrete frequency vector we can have the plots here so now it comes to a display portion with the help of a separate window here so the plots first of all as we have magnitude plot phase plot so spectrum it is we shall be requiring a subplot command so here i write subplot we want to make the two rows and only one column here so two comma one and the first cell we are going to assign here so as we are into the discrete time domain here we are going to make the use of stem command here and to the stem command wk comma the magnitude xk mag xk these two variables we have been provided as inputs here and to this particular cell we are providing the title so the title here we write this is nothing but the magnitude spectrum and the labeling part is left i write here x label so for x label we have parameter k here and in the similar case we have y label so for y axis we label it with the help of mag xk here to represent the magnitude values here so this is with respect to the first cell the magnitude spectrum we have been plotting with this script here with this much of four lines here so in the similar fashion we have to go for the phase spectrum here so again subplot command 2 comma 1 comma 2 here 
mention of stem so the stem is provided with the input of wk comma here we write phase xk pha we have generated for the phase here next to that we provide the title as before so the title here we provide as phase spectrum and the labeling part is x label we provide the k parameter then we go for y label so in the y label we provide pha xk so this much of script can be there for the first task as we have seen this is the first task where the input sequence that it was x of n three elements one by three one by three one by three and the 16 point dft here so we save this particular script so we name it program one underscore 25 underscore one here so after saving now we can execute this program so as we execute this program first of all we go to see the details onto the command window here so i maximize the command window onto this command window here we have the dft sequence is so the coefficients after carrying out the dft we have obtained with the variable capital x suffix k here so here we have total 16 columns the real part as well as the imaginary part have got printed here now from these ones we have now the magnitude values to be printed with the mag capital xk here so again 16 columns here and the magnitudes have been plotted here from the earlier computations and the phase sequence is also computed up to the 16 columns here now we go for the matlab window that has been displayed as the output here so into the first row here we have the first subplot corresponding to the magnitude spectrum here so whatever the coefficient values have been printed onto the command window here so those have been plotted here for the k onto the horizontal axis and the magnitude values right from 0 to 1 for the vertical axis here in the similar fashion the angular values corresponding to the phase so a phase spectrum is there into the second subplot here so here we have the phase value into the negation as well as the positive domain here now after this first task has been completed now we switch our attention to accomplish the second task so the second task it was the matlab program to perform the eight point dft of the discrete time sequence so this time the input signal is provided as x of n having the eight elements so the first four elements are two and the last four elements are one we have to also stage the magnitude and the phase spectrum as just now we have done for the 16 point dft here so we switch to the matlab environment and now we again take the new script here so starting the page program here we are writing first of all close all clear clc and now we shall be working with the comment line first of all to mention so this is a program for finding 8 point dft as specified for the second task here and to plot the frequency spectrum So now we shall be specifying the value of capital N to be equal to 8 point. Then the imaginary variable we shall be requiring here. So J is always equal to square root of minus 1. So we write J is equal to SQRT and the input is minus 1 here. 
so now the sequence that is given into the program statement the task 2 here is to be generated here so for that purpose we take the variable generated as xn here and now the elements are specified in the array form so inside the square brackets here we provide 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2 four times then 1 as four times here ending with the semicolon here now this is the discrete time domain representation the small casing here we have used and now we can go for capital xk to hold the output into the transformed domain here so we initially want it to hold the values of zeros here 1 comma n as the input here the names to the variables can be given anything but it is the usual practice that we go for small casing for the time domain representations and the capital casing for the frequency domain representations here so after having these two variables now it is part of computation now so for computation of dft we have earlier also made use of the for loops here so here also we are going to make computation with the help of for loops here so for for loop we require the intermediate variable and this time it is equal to k so k value we run from 0 with the intervals of 1 up to capital n minus 1 here there should not be a semicolon and we nest it with the another for loop here where we have small n is equal to to 0 with the intervals 1 up to capital N minus 1 here and inside it we have now mathematical formulation so capital X K here in the bracket we provide K plus 1 after the incrementation and now it can be computed by capital X K in the bracket here we have K plus 1 and now it is added to xn having n plus 1 in the bracket that is having multiplication to the exponential function so for exponential function we use exp and within the brackets we write minus j in multiplication to 2 in multiplication to pi as a constant in multiplication to small k as a variable also multiplied to small n divided by capital N here so ending it with the semicolon and now it's time to end the nested pair of for loops here so we write end end here now we shall display the values of the dft is computed onto the command window here so for that purpose we shall be writing display within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes inside here we shall write the dft sequence is and here we need to print the value so by the next line we just provide xk so this is the variable without a semicolon here next to that we are going to now again the use of display command and here we shall be writing out the coefficients corresponding to the magnitude with which we can plot the magnitude spectrum here so here we mention the magnitude sequence is and here the magnitude holding variable can be written as before mag capital xk and now as it is not before declared or defined we have to assign it by the computations of as we know the absolute value from capital xk here so as we have to print it no semicolon then again going for the display so here we write the phase sequence phase sequence is so for phase sequence we generate the variable pha capital xk 
and now it is completed by having the angle so the angle coefficient values have been determined by capital xk variable here so here also no semicolon now by the next line for the plot here we require a frequency information holding variable so that we can define to be wk we can start it with the value of 0 extending with the interval of 1 up to capital n minus 1 here now for the display of magnitude plot and the phase plot a spectrum here we have to make the use of subplot command so i just mentioned subplot as only the two plots have to be plotted here we make only two rows one column and the first cell here we are going to assign here so working with the discrete time domain here we shall be making the use of stem for continuous time it should be with the plot command here and inside the stem here we provide the frequency holding variable wk comma the magnitude coefficients are with mag capital xk variable then it's a part to have providing the title to this subplot here so the title here we display magnitude spectrum and for labeling part we go for x label so it is by the variable k here and in the similar fashion we have to go for a y label so for a y label we write mag capital xk here ending it with the semicolon so this is the plot for the magnitude spectrum now it's time for the phase spectrum so for phase spectrum we go for assignment of the next cell of the subplot so it will be 2 comma 1 comma 2 here and thereupon we use stem wk comma here we write pha xk here then the title so title here we mention within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes we write here k is a spectrum and then it's a part of labeling so here we mention x label it is the variable k to represent the frequency values here and then y label so this is the matlab program script that we have used to make the competitions with respect to the 8 point dft here so let us save this particular program so i just mentioned it to be a program 1 underscore 25 underscore 2 it is the second part here and now it's time to execute this program to see whether we get the correct output or not so as we run this program here we find the output generated here first of all we go for the command window so here we have the dft sequence each so here for the n point dft n to be equal to 8 here we have capital xk so that has up to the 8 columns here so here the real part as well as the imaginary part so the representation into the complex domain here so the first coefficient we can read it to be 12 plus 0 i here so either you go for i or j to represent the imaginary variable here so now this is first of all the plot of the dft sequence then the magnitude sequence we have been plotted with the help of the variable mag capital xk and the phase is also plotted with pha capital xk next we can switch to the matlab window that has been generated here so the first cell is nothing but the magnetic spectrum here the various coefficients that have been plotted with the amplitude that you can see here so x value is 1 so it is the first interval onto the horizontal axis where the k values have been plotted here and y what is the amplitude so here it is 2.613 for the second one here you can see it to be the 0 for the third one 
you can see it is the third onto the k side and y is equal to 1.082 here so in the similar fashion as like this magnitude spectrum we have the phase spectrum the angular values have been plotted in this particular plot so as like we have the magnitude spectrum plotted into the first subplot here we have the various angular values plotted and that is nothing but the phase spectrum as we can see into the second subplot here so here the k values onto the horizontal axis and the phase values into the negative as well as the positive domain we have plotted here so here we can see here x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1.178 as the value here in the second case we go for x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 2.143 so this was the simple MATLAB demonstration to have the endpoint DFT computed. So we have taken the examples for the 16 point and the 8 point DFT for the given discrete time sequence and also we have plotted the magnitude and phase spectrum here.